Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the handling duplicate data. Before going to hands on, first let me explain what are the main reasons to have duplicate data in a real world data set. First one is the combined data set from the multiple places. Let's be are collecting the data from a three data sources for our machine learning modeling. Let's I am collecting the data from the UK region and I am collecting the employee data. UK plus India. This source has a data of the employee for UK and India region, and this data source has a data for UK region employee, and this data set has a employee data corresponding to USA region. So once we will store this data, it might be we can have a duplicate rows corresponding to same employee. If any X employee we have in UK might be the same employee we can have in this data source. So that's why we can have that X employee duplicate in this data. So might be we can have X employee in this data. So we have to delete this data before using in machine learning modeling. Now scrap data. If we are using a web scraper, we may happen to scrap the same web page more than once. Or the same information from two different pages. It means that this is your website, and there are the page one, page two, page three. It might be same type of the information we can have in a multiple place. If we have configured our web scraper to scrap the data from three different web pages, so it might be we can have duplicate rows in our data set. Last one is the received data from client and other department. Let's. I am collecting the data from our business client. It might be business client can provide me same type of the information multiple times. Let's. I ask, can you please provide me the UK region data? Might be by mistakenly again he provide the same type of the information. So in this way we can have the duplicate rows in our data. So we have to remove this type of the duplicate rows in our data set. Let's start the hands on. First we are going to import the pandas library. I am going to create one data frame here. Now we will check whether we have any duplicate rows or not. You can see we are getting the true value corresponding to duplicate rows. First, second, and third. We are getting the three true values. Let's. We want to check how many duplicate rows we have. Keep is equal to false means it will display all the duplicate rows. It means it will display all the three rows. Keep is equal to false. Now, if we want to display all the duplicate rows except the first occurrence, there are the three duplicate rows we have: first, second, and third. And if we want to display the remaining duplicate rows, keeping the first one as it is, how we can do that? We can use the default value. Default value is keep is equal to first. You can see here default value is default is keep is equal to first. So what it will do? It will Display all the remaining duplicate rows except the first occurrence. So now we are getting only two rows. Why? It keep the first row as it is, zero row as it is, and display the remaining rows. Now we are going to display all these duplicate data. How we can do that? This one. We can use the lock method. What it will do? It will display all the. Let me. Check the help. Access a group of rows and column by labels. It will display all the rows. You can see that. Now we have display the duplicate data. Now we want to delete this duplicate data. So we can use the drop duplicate method using the same keep is equal to first. It means it will keep the first occurrence as it is and will delete all the remaining one. It means zero will be available and four and five will be deleted. You can see that zero is available and remaining are deleted. Same thing we can do here. Keep is equal to false. It means all the rows will be deleted. You can see that all the rows which are duplicated have been deleted. Now keep is equal to last. It means last duplicate row will be as it is, and the all the remaining rows will be deleted. It means this one five will be available and zero and four will be deleted. Five is available and remaining are deleted. Now, if we want to, without assigning the variable, what we are doing, we are assigning the output in a different variable. Without assigning the variable, let's see what would happen. 
you can see it has deleted the rows all the rows except the first occurrence if we want to check this data frame we are getting all the duplicate rows still why because here if you see what is the default value of in place in place is equal to false it means it did not update the in place it means same place if we want to update in a same memory at a same place then we have to use the in place is equal to true let's see this we are getting the output df earlier it was not updated now it has updated at a same place it means keep is equal to first first record is as it is and remaining duplicate rows are deleted now we are going to import the uci adult data set let's check the how many duplicate data we have here we are getting how many rows are duplicate by using the true and false but there are many rows that's why we are not able to see so what we can do we can use the sum method by using sum we are getting the nine why because it is showing keep is equal to first it means first row as it is remaining duplicate rows will be visible here that's why nine rows only showing otherwise it would have around 18 if we will also include the keep is equal to false so what would happen it will show you the 18 rows now all the duplicate data but if you will not use the keep is equal to false it will use by default keep is equal to first now it is showing only the nine rows let's save total save total rows we have three two four six and if we want to display keep is equal to false all the duplicate data it will show you 18 rows you can see the 18 rows it is showing and if we want to only display the duplicate rows keeping the first one as it is it will show you only the nine rows now if we want to delete the duplicate rows in place is equal to true and keep is equal to first it means keeping the first row as it is and deleting all the remaining duplicate rows let's check the shape shape is now we are getting 3237 earlier we are getting 3246 let's check there are the nine duplicate rows are deleted it means nine duplicate rows are deleted and remaining data we have it means that data also have the first occurrence rows so this way we can delete the duplicate rows there are the many methods in the python library we can use those methods to delete the duplicate rows here i only mention those methods which are widely used thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day